Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome to another Adventure Quest Worlds video. I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro that my friend actually helped me film. And I just want to say that was probably the weirdest thing I have ever filmed and edited in my life, but it was 100% worth it. I wanted to try something that you don't see every day with Adventure Quest Worlds videos, and that is real life footage. This is a review on the Darkon's Madness print after all, so I want to showcase that print, that piece of art, in a very creative way. And I had one vision on how I wanted it to look, and when we shot it, we shot it in maybe less than an hour and we didn't even have a storyboard. We kind of just went along with it and made up shots as we went, which I think is a very fun creative process for things, especially like this. So when I got home and I cut it up and color graded it and foleyed the whole thing, it turned into something completely different. It turned into this weird like acid trip a uh, fever dream like Stanley Kubrick 2001 Space Odyssey. So I thought that was really fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it because I will be doing more things like that in the future. Now before we take a closer look at the items that we receive in game which are this helm that I'm wearing and this cape, if you want to get this print yourself you can still get it. It is $9.95. It is called Darkon's Madness Collector's Print. You can go to Hero Mart right now and get it. Super cool. The, the print quality on it is very very good so I'm very pleased with that. It is definitely worth the 10 bucks and you get these cool in-game items. You will receive a code on your packing slip they receive inside your package you get this really cool badge and i think it's a really cool item and a piece of art to hang on your wall especially if you have more hero mart art like i do once you receive your package with your packing slip head on over to artix.com slash shop slash redeem and when you're here on this page you will have a bunch of games to choose from choose adventure quest worlds and hit redeem code upon clicking that link it will bring you to this page here and from this page all you have to do is log in and once you are here you will have to type in the prize code on your packing slip and keep in mind the prize code is in kind of like small font it's not like super big bold font so you just have to search for it just for a second it's not that hard to find but once you find it type it in hit submit and then you have officially unlocked the items in game once you are in game if you were currently logged in when you submitted the code i would suggest just logging out and re-logging in so it could refresh and give you the items you're going to head to your book of lore go to badges and you're going to go to hero mart badges and it will be right here darkon's madness print and let's just take a second to appreciate the art and animation on this badge i think it is so so awesome these eyes that are moving and i just love darkon's like super twisted like mad crazy art his creatures and and characters are so unique and so refreshing to see that in adventure quest worlds and from here all you do is click on shop and you have two items to choose from the first item you will receive is a helmet creature sixes hood and i can see a lot of people making some super unique sets with this helm i try to make one myself which i will show off later in the video it wasn't it's not that good and you know i didn't have the armors that i kind of wish i had to create this set but i might get those in the future and upgrade and make it a little better but for what i had i think i did pretty good the detail in this helm is absolutely phenomenal you can never go wrong with darkon and i will always always support his art and his creations because they're always so unique and they are always in the realm of like creatures and creepiness the, the kind of art that i like and i'm a humongous fan of darkon so i definitely think we need more of this in adventure quest worlds because this is so amazing looking just take a look at this dude like the, the missing jaw and then just these veins and tentacles hanging down is what is this what is this this is so creepy i love it the final item you will receive is a cape and it is parasitic creature number six and again look at this insane creature you got human hands coming down here which is what this is crazy you got these spikes this insane face which is the same face that is on the helm it's almost like this helm when you wear it you are like the creator and keeper and the trainer of this creature here like this creature obeys you no matter what which is super awesome the tongue on this is sinister and disgusting the teeth all over this and the eyes are just repulsive and i absolutely love it and the captions for both of these items are great there is no terror greater than that which we see inside our own minds that is very true and i tried to do that with the intro that i made because this print after all is called darkon's madness so i tried to make the intro and edit it as madness as possible this is the set a little closer up like the full thing which looks amazing and i'm gonna come here and i'm going to go to here and get rid of my player 
really quick. And I'm also going to get rid of my shadow and get rid of my main hand weapon. So now we just have the cape visible and I'm going to zoom in and drag it over here so we can get a more insane in-depth look at this. This is, this is just so crazy. I'm going to zoom in a little more. I'm going to go all the way. How about that? We'll go, oh, maybe we won't go all the way because this thing's already really big. So if I say, oh my God, this is nightmare fuel right here. Look at how cool this is. This is why I like the AQ light climb because I can really analyze and really see the full detail of these pieces of art. We're going all the way. Is it 10? I think it's 10. Yep. We are all the way zoomed in at 10. Now let's take a, an in-depth look at this. I don't know if anyone else is doing this on videos on this or any other items in Adventure Quest worlds, but hey, I'm able to do it. So why not show you guys in full detail? We're going to start here with this moving eye and these teeth and these teeth right here. This is absolutely crazy. We're going to kind of move our way over to the right and just look at these hands man like it makes you think the people that this creature ate and that are now a part of him which is even more scary to think about got the blood and the guts dripping with more hands there coming out of the mouth as well the tongue is just sinister and scary look at this he's crying like black blood which is insane got random faces here and a mouth here coming out of the side of his head almost like it looks like veins and just, it looks like Swiss cheese, man. It's so creepy. It's so cool. I love this so much. And his eyes, look at that. He's at the point of no return. Like this monster is a monster forever. You can never cure this monster of its of its possession. It's, it's insane. This is why I like taking a really close look at these pieces because I didn't even notice that this is like a hand holding the head, which is an insane detail. Coming up here, we got more eyes, more teeth, more eyes going all the way down. And then it kind of fades off into black and you kind of see the silhouettes of hands and tentacles and and guts and blood and oh, it's so good before i continue on looking at the helm this is the set that i made by the way with the enchanted shadow flame warlock which is one of lay's sets and the and the spear as well i could have i could probably could have done better but it's what i had and i think it kind of works out not too bad actually because all these symbols and the glow and everything in the glow here is color custom so i made it red to fit the red and black theme you know the this is more of a on the hood it's more of like a darkish blackish blue this is more of like a matte black color so that kind of kind of throws it off just a little bit but it's not that bad and it fits and i and i kind of like it but when i get more armors that will fit this set later on i will definitely update this uh set this is the helm fully cranked up to 10 fully zoomed in on the camera tool i wish we could go bigger because the only way to go bigger is i'd have to take a screenshot and zoom in on photoshop and that would lose quality but doing this you don't lose any quality i just wish it could go a little bit bigger but anyway the detail in these tentacles are insane look at these veins and the shadows and the depth of field it's got going on this is fantastic super creepy love it absolutely got the teeth here and the face here just like on the cape that i showed earlier with the eyes and the crying blood it's basically the same exact face except it doesn't have a bottom jaw and all its veins and tendons are hanging out almost like its jaw which is ripped away from its face and the monster cape and this helm are in serious need of a dermatologist and some dental work. I think that the hood brings it all together. I think this is probably the best looking hood in Adventure Quest Worlds, which I'm not surprised that Darkon was able to pull it off. I'm a huge fan of hoods. Any game that I can play, if I can get a hood, I will get it. I think hoods just make you look so cool. They make your character look evil. They make your character look stealthy. They just make your character look badass. And that is what's happening here with this helm i also just think it's cool that you can see the expression in his face just by these lines here on his nose you can and the eyebrow oh my god you can just tell that he's like he's kind of just like i'm doing it but you guys can't see my face i don't know how to really describe it but you're kind of like kind of like when a dog like gets mad and they show their teeth like or you know and their face scrunches up and they get the lines on their nose like i can totally read this guy's expression just just by looking at it and i think it's really cool Alrighty, guys that is going to do it for today's video if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up head on to the comments and tell me what you liked about it if you guys didn't like this video give me a thumbs down head on to the comments and tell me what i could have done better while you're down in the comments be sure to leave your in-game name so i can feature your character page and house at the beginning of future videos if you guys are feeling generous and you want to see more videos like this from me hit that subscribe button and turn on my notification bell to be notified when i upload and if you're feeling even more generous go to hero mart and support darkon go buy this 
this collector's print and get these super awesome items in game and take that piece of art and frame it and put it on your wall just like i did because that is where it deserves to be on display so people can admire it if you guys want to keep up with what i'm doing outside of adventure quest world you can follow me on twitter and reddit those links will be in the description below but i will save you some time you can follow me on twitter and reddit at lanky aqw if this is your first time watching an adventure quest worlds video and you have never played adventure quest worlds before you can head on down to my description click my referral link and sign up to play if you guys want to hang out chat with me and some other really cool people my discord server will be in the description below for all those new viewers i do a series called legion logbook and i have a guild dedicated to that so if you guys want to join just ask me and we'll make it happen there are no insane unachievable end game requirements to join my guild the only requirement that I ask of you is that you be kind and respectful of one another. If anyone else has bought this print and received the in-game rewards, I want to see what you guys create. Take a screenshot of the craziest set you can come up with with these two items and tag me on Twitter at LankyAQW so I can check it out. I want to see what crazy things you guys can come up with. I will see all of you right back here for another new video, and I will see you in-game.